Okay, so last time we got a very uh, strange way to end the episode. The four girls who have been uh, all over Kiri till the last few years, they, uh, <laughs> well, I am sick and tired of people saying this is not a harem. It's a harem, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not an actual harem. I doubt they're about to have a fivesome. Is that what you call it? Fatal five way? No, I'm a pro wrestling fan. Um, no, that was, that was five pack. I, I don't know. It's just <laughs> enough already. Enough. Let's go. Oh, flashback. Back with Quinella. So he killed his predecessor. Again, apparently they... That doesn't violate the taboo index. I guess whatever Quinella says, that's, that's how it works. She's the administrator. I've said it before, Berkuli is just way too sharp for this, you know? Like, they're constantly focused on Alice. What about him? I get it, he's not the one who broke the taboo index, but still. Alright, ready for battle. The plot thickens. Oh right, yeah, he, he can still eat. It tastes just like real food, doesn't it, Asuna? Well, Asuna's here, so. I wouldn't put it quite like that, but yeah, Asuna's clearly um not fond of that idea. That's her man. Oh shit! Tight ropes. Okay, they're, they do know you can just cut the line, right? I doubt Asuna wants to kill him, but she might have to. <laughs> Oh. They're just falling to their death. Wouldn't it make more sense to try to set up a, a zip line? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. They're all just lining up to die. Those two made it across. They're definitely exhausted. Oh shit, here they come. Yeah, that's that. Oh, shit. They all died. Unfortunately, that's a little too common. Maybe you should have gone first? I guess you were told to enforce it, but still. Meanwhile, in the real world. Ocean Turtle, July 7th, 12.05 a.m. Wait, the waters are still light. FLA what? Oh, shit! It's not 1,000 anymore! What? Hey, what? Is this for real? Oh, is it crazy? A PvP with lifelike human avatars. What is it with their English? Violence? You mean we can like cut up? Is that what we sound like to them? Stuff? No way. No restrictions. Well, we try to speak Japanese. The developer is Oh my god, he's recruiting people from the real world. This is really bad. 
パとママが危ないユイ Is there anything she can do about it? It's 3 02 a.m. Yeah, it's not, it's not Kitty Guy, it's, it's Yui. She seems a little exhausted, but okay. You're just sleeping in the middle of the night like this? Ah. <sighs> My guess is Yui's gonna finally bring him in. But if they're recruiting people from outside. I don't know. 4.32 a.m. Yeah, I guess it's a month. A year is 10 hours? Damn. They don't know. え、えっと、そちら、ラス本社のエストニーマー外部の人がアポなしで突然来まして。外部取引先どう見ても女子高生なんですよ。It's あ、はい。それがシーナワスダスゴアシリガヤ。どう考えてもホンミョじゃないんです。えっとですね。シーナンリパ。あ、はい。He <laughs> Alright, I guess they're all being updated on the situation. Well, Yui's a top-down AI. Or I guess, no, she's technically an AI made from scratch instead of a copy. Yeah, there's no way you guys are taking on the entire U.S. military. が米軍の手に落ちれば遠くない未来に無人機搭載用エレベーターが。Oh this is the ultimate meaning of SAO. That was... That was Kaioba's plan from the beginning. We finally realized. It was all so we could eventually build Underworld. Alice is the proof that all of this was meant for something. <laughs> SAO took so much from them, but it also gave them so much too. <sighs> he did save all your lives. Alright, Yui, does that mean you have a way to get him into Underworld? They're gonna need all the help they can get. 30,000? 100,000? Okay. They are not going to win on that one. I don't think that works. むしろ客効果になりかねません。いや、相手はやぶ蛇ですね。No。はい。なら同じ手を使えばいいってこと。ことの赤を用意してもらえば3万人や4万人すぐに集めてみせるぜ。
Looks like you guys can recruit though. You can go to ALO, GGO. Right, Japan is eight hours behind us. From where I'm at, it's about 11.50 a.m. over there. Nope. I did not think about all their high levels here. If they transfer to Underworld, they'd be unstoppable. At least, you know, for a while. Like what? Oh shit, they're recruiting! America outnumbers you like four to one at least. They want them all to go to Underworld. That is insane. Underworld's extremely dangerous. You're not going to die in there, but you're going to suffer big time. Pain in there is real. I guess you haven't heard all the stories these guys have been through, have you? What could it be? Underworld. Okay, so they can make the trip, but what happens afterwards? You have to die in the game? You would feel the pain. Yeah, that sounds terrible. そして最後にアンダーワールドは現在開発者たちにもオペレーションできない状態コンバートした would lose everything they've worked for. That's that's what? 4 years of work? Wait, there's still a race war going on? I don't think I passed that. I don't think I passed that. I there's still about 5,000 SAO survivors out there, maybe six. Wait, what was Sakuya, Alicia, Eugene. I, I forgot her name. The Sleeping Knights. They're willing to go. If it's to help out Kirito and Asuna, they're willing. It's been years since SAO. How are they still holding out? They didn't know about that, did they? The school is basically watching to make sure they don't kill each other. Oh, 
For good reason, I might add. You kind of aren't. Wow. Did not realize that was going on. You know, we often look at Kirito's trauma, we don't really look at everybody else's. But we all, we all can see just how much they lost, but... I don't think you see what's going on with Elizabeth. I know exactly what I'd say in this situation. If she asked me. That was quite the speech. We know all them are willing. Who's that? Meanwhile. And they're still dying. Qless can't do much else. Oh shit, they're too late. Oh, they are so fucked. Okay. Up to what, a hundred thousand Americans on the way? That looks like just the first wave. <sighs> Maybe a, maybe two days ago they would have had the numbers to take on them, but half of Underworld's dark territory is dead. The human Empire definitely lost a lot of their own. This is too much. They really just changed everything. Now I can see why they were making them so sympathetic. All right, well, can't wait for the next episode. Let's keep this going. Wait, I forgot. I know exactly what I would say if Elizabeth were uh, asking me to go. I'd say, guys, this is it. This is what we wanted. Bring the virtual world into the real world. This place that she's describing sounds like the real deal. This is a chance of a lifetime. We get to experience real MMOs. Real virtual reality. Uh, they, they probably don't know, even know that. So, like, okay, yeah. Assuming that they, they know exactly what it's like. This is our chance to live the ultimate nerd's dream. Our lives mean nothing outside of here. Let's go lift this one day. Yeah, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I would need a lot longer to come up with a speech, especially in the moment. You know, the, the rest of the episode kind of ruined it. <laughs> I, I'm just talking out my ass, aren't I? And it would be as simple as... You know. So what if we lose our characters? Right? We could start over again. All the fun we've been through so far, that's what it's all been about. Let's keep this going. Yeah, I'm not the best speech writer, at least not when I'm recording in front of a camera where, you know, my neighbors are wondering, hey, what, what the hell are you doing in there? <laughs> yeah, you guys got to hear my uh, terrible speech, but well, I would come up with something better. I'm just, just saying in the real situation. Granted, I'm not sure if I'll ever be in that real situation, but who knows? I mean, AI is a thing. Virtual reality is going to be a thing sooner or later. 
We'll find out someday.